Hello everyone and welcome back. Here I have a Dell Inspiron Mini 10 netbook that I got for free from Facebook Marketplace. I also got a couple other things with it, but this is the only thing that fully works. So this has an Intel Atom N270 and one gigabyte of RAM. I was surprised that it only has a 16 gigabyte SSD, but at least it has an SSD. So this normally would have came with Windows XP, Windows Vista, or Windows 7. But I have something kind of interesting on here. Then you get your typical Dell splash screen, but then... What's this? Apple? Yeah, for some reason the hardware in this is able to run Mac OS. It's super easy to do. It's not official, of course, but it, it's easy to do. And if you have this netbook, I would encourage you to do it too. Basically, all you have to do is restore an OS image of Snow Leopard, well, uh, an installer. And then you have to run a special patch tool uh, called Netbook Installer that'll basically patch it and get it able to boot on here, as well as most of the drivers. Actually, I think all of them. It's, it's just about fully functional, and I'll uh, demonstrate this. So um, sometimes when I turn it on, the volume doesn't work at all. So I have to restart it, and then it will work. It works most of the time, but it's just, it's just so fun. Doing this on non-Apple hardware just feels so weird. So let's go ahead and go to About This Mac. And this is running macOS 10.6.3, so Snow Leopard. And uh, it, it says it's a 2.05 gigahertz processor, but it's actually one point something. I know it's not two. And the one gigabyte of RAM. And this has an Intel GMA 500 graphics chip, which apparently works with macOS, of course, after you install the driver. So basically... You go into uh, Applications, and then you go to Netbook Installer. So I, I ran this on the on my 2006 iMac, because you need a Mac to do this. And I, I don't think it'll work in modern Mac OS, at least this tool. I was able to restore the USB, but not run this tool. So you just basically set the OS, or the installer, or the hard drive. Because I installed it, but then after it was installed, it, a lot of things didn't work. The graphics were super glitchy, and it just, it wouldn't really work well. But then I ran this tool, selected the internal SSD, and now it works really good. As good as you would expect. So let's, let's look around this a little bit uh, and run some macOS applications on this netbook. It's a nice older version of macOS, so it runs pretty good. So let's try something like Classic Cube. This is a version of a Minecraft-like game. And it's very lightweight. If you turn the fog down, yeah, it's pretty choppy. It's playable though. I also have the real Minecraft version. It actually runs under Rosetta, which actually does somewhat work on this. Here we got real Minecraft running. It runs like garbage, but it does run, which is really cool. This this really feels like the speed of a PowerPC Mac. This feels like this feels very similar to my 700 megahertz iMac G4. Of course, this is running Snow Leopard and not Tiger. And I did try running Tiger on here since it has that special bootloader when it starts up. I figured, oh, I can boot into Tiger maybe. And I tried that and it, it just wouldn't, it, it just uh, kernel panicked, I think. Let's try out another 3D game. Here we have Netherball. Select. 
Ready, set, go. This game gives me a headache. It runs really good on here though, I'm surprised. As you can see, as you can see the bottom is cut off and I can't do anything about that because this netbook is stuck at 124 by 600 resolution which makes things like iMovie not work on this since you can't set it to a higher resolution. So let's go on the internet a little bit with this. I have uh, interweb on here which actually does work. Let's just go to Wikipedia. Just because I think loading anything more complicated will take all day on this. There we go. There we have Wikipedia. Sites that work in Safari give you a much better browsing experience. Look, it already opened up. I have the old net just loaded up here. Let's go to uh, Invidious. Hello everyone and welcome back. Here I have an early 2006 iMac that I got for $25. It was going to be recycled, but then they were willing to sell it to me for $25, which I thought that was an all right deal. I know these can go for less, but... The audio is smooth, it but it's beach balling down. right now. This is the first iMac to come and the frame rate's horrible. Of a power PC so you're probably thinking, well, with the resolution issues, why don't you just connect it to an external monitor? Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, it, it just doesn't work. What the heck? One last thing I'd like to try to do with this is see if I can update Mac OS. And I mean just to the latest... Uh, version of Snow Leopard. Will this work or will it brick it and make it not boot again? All right, software updates are available. Let's see the details. Make sure there's no like firmware updates or something that might wreck this. All right, looks like all the normal stuff. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and install it all and get back to see if it works or see if it doesn't. Okay, so they have been downloaded, so let's go ahead and restart it and see what it does. Ooh, what is that? Is this like verbal spoot or something? Oh, yeah, this is uh this is verbal spoot. That's interesting. Will it make it <laughs> or will it die? Will it, will it stop? Yeah, it's been sitting on this screen for quite a while. It's probably safe to say that updating it bricks the install. If you wanted to update it to the latest version of Snow Leopard, you're probably better off doing it on the Mac than restoring the OS install to a USB and then imaging that to the internal SSD. It's, it just, uh, yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> but I would still encourage you to install this on your netbook since they're starting to become kind of useless in terms of internet browsing. It's very slow. So if you want something fun to do with your netbook, I would uh, suggest installing macOS Leopard or Snow Leopard. I'm pretty sure uh, uh, Leopard works on this too. And this is a Dell Inspiron Mini 10, so your results will probably vary with different netbooks, but they're all pretty similar. So I hope you enjoyed this interesting video, and thank you for watching. Bye.